just a way to give back. And I love working with kids. Coming out here doing something so so practical with the kids, it's, 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 it's a wonderful experience. It's the first time. I've never done it before, but I liked it very much so, and uh, I hope to build on it. Just giving, um, giving back to the community, basically. Helping the underprivileged, and it's just enriching, I think, just to give something back. I was a volunteer when I was in my university, and I feel it's very meaningful. You get more than you think from the experience. Hands on Hong Kong is a charitable organization dedicated to community-based volunteerism. Our mission is twofold, to assist local charities meet their volunteer needs and help individuals, corporations and student bodies who want to give back to the community in a meaningful way. To accomplish our mission, we partner with local charities to develop volunteer projects and to recruit, train and manage volunteers. With more than 1.2 million of Hong Kong's 7 million people living in poverty, including approximately one out of every four children and nearly one-third of all elderly, Hands on Hong Kong fills a critical need, matching volunteers and sponsors to appropriate community initiatives. Our volunteers come from three different categories. So we have individual volunteers, um, like from as civil servants, from private sectors, teachers, education background, any kind of people we're welcome. And we got some people from institutions like colleges, universities working in Hong Kong, so we get a big group of students to work with the younger group. And we also have volunteers from corporates. Local businesses can showcase their social responsibility and leadership in the community. Studies have shown corporations that are involved in the community tend to retain employees at a dramatically higher rate. In addition, when members of the same organization volunteer together, there have been quantifiable benefits to the corporation as a whole in terms of leadership, productivity and morale. Hands on Hong Kong, we try to work with also the different kind of charities, partners who work with kids, the elderly, people with disabilities, as well as animals. We do have some projects uh, working for the environment, like cleaning some beaches, paths, parks, outdoors. So whenever the programs or the charities come with the needs, then we can arrange and matching the need appropriately and accordingly. Hands On in Hong Kong send volunteers to help us in our various classes. We teach in the different schools and we don't have enough teachers to go around to all the students. The volunteers from Hands On Hong Kong are really committed because some of them are coming back over and over again. Some of them have been with us for over a year with our various different classes um, from all age groups. For the children, they love the volunteers because it's like a bigger sister and bigger brother come in to help. Um, so this makes the lesson a lot more fun. So the volunteers from Hands On are benefiting and so are we benefiting and so are the children benefiting. Hands-on projects take place on weekdays and weekends throughout Hong Kong and participation is flexible to accommodate busy professionals, school schedules and locations. I was looking for something that I could do um, on and off um, where I didn't have to commit to say uh, doing it every week um, or doing it at a set time every week and so on. The main thing is, you know, you get a huge amount of satisfaction from seeing the effects that, you know, of your work. So, you know, the more work you put in with your volunteering, the more uh, the kids learn, the more the kids respond positively to what you're doing. Hands on Hong Kong offers uh, volunteers the opportunity to work around their other commitments and things, say sport, work, um, social activities and so on. Um, so I find it a great uh, way to get involved in volunteer work in Hong Kong. Just a way to interact with people, people from different backgrounds, uh, with different uh, skill sets, uh, different cultures, and I mean, you have to know how to interact with, with different types of people, and volunteering really helps you do that. It's good to know a part of Hong Kong you usually don't see that often, and um, meet um, people that um, probably aren't so lucky in life, and uh, it's good uh, that you know you can help them in some way. Working in Hong Kong's a... Um, you've got everything that you want there. You come out here, you realise that everyone doesn't have what uh, we have, so, you know, puts um, any problems or anything you got back home in, in perspective. It gives you a bit
bit of reality check. Interacting with little kids, uh, seeing seeing them smile, seeing them do something with, with a lot of passion, with a lot of with a lot of energy. I mean, that's that's what everything's about. That's what life's about. It really doesn't matter what activity. Uh, in in ten years, they won't remember exactly what they did, but they'll remember how much fun they had.